Welcome back everybody. I'm Happy Tangent and we're playing the Resident Evil Remake. This is Jill's 8th episode of Happy's Adventure Through the Mansion. And the mansion is finally going to come to a close, I believe. We're going to head in, uh, put in our two objects into that area behind the staircase. We still have to go and pick one up. That's what sucks. Ah! Oh man, I don't want to go grab that one. There's going to be shit in our way. Alright, ain't nothing I can do about it. Alright, we'll uh we'll head to that staircase now, but I guess we gotta grab that one first. Oh crap! Woo! Oh crap, I didn't see that guy, I almost ran into him. Somebody put out a lot of zombies everywhere. Oh sweet! I just realized that this, yeah, this exit's right here. So this exit's right where we need to grab that uh, coin at. I'm trying to think if there's a safer way. I, I know a safer way. I am going to, um, yep, and this one has the ring around it. See, that's what we had to do is we, we weren't able to go underneath that staircase because it didn't have that kind of copper colored ring around the edge of our emblem. So, uh, all right, now we can fit both in there. Alright, something I just thought about is I didn't bring the wolf and the eagle coin, but surely there's an item box down here somewhere. I mean, I don't know if this is the way we'll get to the Umbrella Labs, but I, I imagine we'll come across one again. I don't think we're going to go down here and they're going to want us to have two more coins, because then you would have had to have carried like four coins right here, so. Alright, here goes. Don't know if we'll be returning to the mansion. It's an old typewriter. Alright, so they let you save right there. But yeah, they don't give you an ink ribbon. There's an item box. Do I just want to grab them and hold on to them for now? I feel like that could really goof things up. You know what? Screw it. We're, we're go Oh, I could grab the... Uh, hmm... Just to be on the safe side here. But I want to go ahead and grab those coins, because I know we're going to use them here soon. Imagine if you didn't have these coins right now. You know what? Is that a single green? You know, you'd half expect in what I'm doing here that I'm preparing for a boss fight, but, you know, it's, no, there's no boss fight up ahead. I guess so there, if you didn't have an ink ribbon, I mean, you do have the item storage, so most people would have, of course, had a couple in their uh, item box. If they played these games before, they would have. Alright, let's see what's up ahead. Oh yeah, so we didn't even talk about it, but yeah, so the monster we've been running into, her name's Lisa Trevor. Uh, wasn't in the first game at all, it's like the huge big thing they added in with the remake. I, uh, I'm a real big fan of it. Uh, it's, a, it's a unique thing, you get to learn a lot more about kind of really how nasty Umbrella is. I mean, this poor family... Uh, they helped out with this mansion, and then they basically experimented on him. Oh, it's Barry. Jill, you're alive. I was worried. Cause well, I you took you off on me. What the hell, Barry? Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. You're the traitor. This isn't good. This room is tiny. Ah! Oh shit! Ah! I want to know who closed the gate. Jill, hand me my gun. Give gun back to Barry. Yes, I want some extra help. Let's do this. All right, how do we? What do we do? Trust him. What, what are we doing? This is, we're not even fighting back. Oh crap, I don't know if there's a way to go this way. Oh, nice shot, Barry. Don't die, Barry, don't die. Push it, push it, you dummy. Oh, there's a wall right there. Oh, don't die, don't buy. I said die, but it sounded like buy. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. 
What do we have here, Lisa? Thank God. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me. We still Go got ahead. things to talk about, Barry. Okay. You just drew, you drew your gun on me. Alright, so yeah, uh, if you don't give Barry his gun back, I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed that he dies there. So, uh, yeah, like, we, we still have stuff to talk about, man. We're not, I'm not gonna let that slide. All right, so, uh, oh, sweet. Okay, so, yeah, so, uh, Lisa Trevor, who, the lady who just jumped off the monster, this would have been Jessica, her mother, was in this coffin. So, I don't know if you can defeat her just by shooting her. I think, it, I think you can. But the trick is to knock all those four off, which then opens it up. And we did read something earlier that explained that. It talks about the stones, so, here we go. Family picture. It's a letter to my Lisa. Day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shot, mommy's can think straight. But mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid. Afraid of forgetting everything. Especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like. How we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I could hold on to your wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that'll be our chance. When you're out on the outside, let's look for Daddy together, okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 67, Jessica Trevor. So I don't even know if that family is hinted at in, in one of the books or not. I don't remember it. All right, guys. Ooh, got a little fancy lift here. But yeah, I don't remember that name at all. Like, I remember, like, well, there's another character name that's going to show up towards the game. And I will definitely talk about that. Yep, so this is very familiar here. I should be able to go into that or never go into it because over here should be where I put the two coins and this is the exact reason why I brought them with me. Is it right there? Is that the spot? Okay, yes, yeah, so that's clearly the eagle. Alright, so somewhere else would be the wolf. I'll do a circle. We'll check that other door. But we should be going down, um, well, down into the fountain here in a second. So this should open up. I imagine it's probably... Uh, Oh, well, maybe we couldn't ever... Oh, that's a nice little reflection there. Maybe we couldn't ever go in that door. Now I don't remember. I probably don't have a map of this place. Hmm, it says typewriter. Oh, I'm way down there on the other side. Yeah, it just says it doesn't open. We're just going to pretend it never opens. I mean, not maybe not even pretend. It probably doesn't. This here, folks, we're finally going down the lab. Uh, at this point, we're early in this episode. I mean, it might only take two episodes. What are we on now? Seven or eight? It should be eight, I think. So yeah, it might be uh, it might be nine episodes. I knew it was a longer game than uh, obviously the original, and then uh, Resident Evil two and three. Uh, of course, Resident Evil four was a lot longer originally. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing and you're searching for everything, I'm pretty sure people can speed run that in an hour and a half. I think the fastest I've ever done like Resident Evil four is probably like four or five hours. But okay, here we go. See what uh, new designs of umbrellas they're making down here. Yes, we will. I mean, you probably figured it out already. I'm going for the best ending in the game. I won't tell one of the other things we have to do for it, where the magic happens. But uh, the main, one of the main things I want to accomplish is Barry staying alive. Um, just a uh, example of what happened. I think this is where you go towards the end of the game. Will not open unless first class emergency. Yeah, this is probably how, how we escape. Um, 
But in the original Resident Evil, I mentioned this in one of my other games, my other Let's Plays, is when you fight, his name's Yawn, by the way, the giant snake. Yeah, it's like Yawn, like, ooh. Anyhow, but when you fight him, he leaves a hole in the ground, similar to when that grave we found underneath, and we climbed down a ladder after we'd opened the grave. Well, in that particular fight with the giant snake, he actually smashes through the ground. We're going to put you away for now. But yeah, he smashes a hole in, and you can drop down below. Well, the funny thing about that is, uh, the hole he creates is that same, like, go down to the gravestone. Well, Barry, uh, you descend, and Barry's like, hey, hold on, I'll go get a rope for you. Well, if you don't wait and proceed forward, Barry will die. Oh, dang it, I don't want to deal with Crimson Heads down here. Maybe I should be bringing my kerosene with me. Dang it, I don't want to light everybody's bodies on fire. If I do, I'll do it in a second. Alright, we don't gotta worry about burning his body. Should be a couple of them. But yeah, so the last time I actually played the original, I mean, I don't even know when that was. Oh, didn't. Dang it. Oh, there you go. Have one of these. That should honestly kill him. He took a shotgun blast to the face, plus a dagger. I don't think he's bleeding out, though. Okay, I see the blood. But yeah, so when I last played the original, it there was a, a long gap between my playthroughs. And so, I just went down below forgetting about Barry. And uh, you're supposed to wait for like 30 seconds to a minute and let him bring back the rope. Well, if you do that he'll live but if you just go on without him it's like you don't trust him which causes an issue they took that out of this game I was real concerned a few episodes ago when I dropped down in there because I hadn't even seen Barry at the snake fight so but based on us getting that trophy earlier the can you trust him we should be good oh that guy up above is gonna turn I don't know where to go He should not get back up from that. Wish more heads would pop off. I feel like I need to uh, definitely burn some of these bodies. I do not want to run into a bunch of crimson heads at the end of this game. Hey, buddy. Yes! That one ain't coming back. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so anyhow, uh, moral of the story. If you happen to play the very first Resident Evil, not this remake, uh, if you climb down in a hole when you're, dang it, I don't want to even grab those. When you climb down in a hole doing Jills, uh, make sure to wait for Barry. Should we just start checking doors at least? Okay. So I think that's telling me I need to wait for power. Okay. I feel like there might be another guy still in here. We're not hearing anybody though. All right, here we go. Got some. We didn't see a map up above either. All right, all right. Let's see. Oh, magnum rounds. Do I want. I, I kind of do want to just grab those now. Where's it at? Do we just search for them? Okay. As I go through this towards the end, I'll probably explain some things on how to get the best ending. And shoot, for all I know, they might have changed some of it. What do we have here to read? V Act Researcher's Notes. This is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutates into or mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Or Vax for short. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. There we go. The dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left here. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, okay. So that might be uh, 
Uh, William Trevor? We're just gonna call him William Trevor. What do we got here? Login and password. Crap. I'm gonna just try something real quick. Where is it? I don't think this is right. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. It worked. <laughs> oh crap. Permission denied. Try to enter a password. Do I need a password? Do I gotta type in the names again? Ow! It sounded like it was right. Alright, just give me a second. Accessing, verified, basement door. All right, so we got that unlocked. That's cool. Um, sure, it's over that direction. Try this one again. Okay, so it requires a second password. All right, so uh, why I laugh so much. Uh, if I mean, if you don't know Resident Evil 2, you run into a character named Ada. And honestly, I won't go into details about her right now. But her boyfriend was a scientist. He worked here. We'll probably find it and read it. But he used the password of his girlfriend at the time, Ada. So, but yeah, Ada reappears in uh, later Resident Evil. So that's kind of a cool little thing that as somebody who played the first Resident Evil so many times before Resident Evil 2 came out... It was always so cool to see her eventually show up in the games. Alright. We came through there. What else do you think opened? Did I blow the other guy's heads off? Alright, let's try this. Lock, symbols in power. Uh, do we have a map? I mean, now we definitely should have some bit of map. Alright, we haven't even tried the one. I'm pretty sure I know what's over there, though. If we ran around and if I knew I didn't have to use the Magnum, we could just go around blowing heads off. But I, I gotta save it for the end fights. Nice first aid, couple doors to my side. Let's just go ahead and start clearing doors out. Might run into a bunch of couple zombie guys. What was that noise? Alright, nobody. X-rays. What do we have over here? Clark David. Sure. Do I stick it up here? Is that what I do? Okay. This should probably be like... Okay. Uh, so yeah. Oh, hold on. Lungs, esophagus, liver, stomach, yada yada. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Okay, sure. Which, uh, yeah, that's something I already noticed. I'm sure my memory helped me out, but uh, the first guy was CD. This is what, uh, GH or something like that. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's just turn the light off. That, that's probably. Oh! I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say life. Okay. Esophagus, that's probably the liver. Lungs. Esophagus, liver, lungs. So, what was the first one? Is it like a colon? Oh, so the answer is cell. C E L L. Okay. Yeah, probably colon, esophagus, liver, lungs. Alright. Researcher's letter. Oh, here we go. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the di visual data room. Then, activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. 
Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement, level 2, where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a Rankin is x-ray, so a Rankin-gram or something, rankin -gram. Uh, I know you and I am sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Ada. Yours truly, John. John Ada. And then sell. So there we go. Okay, so now we know the password for that computer we were at earlier. There's probably a couple more rooms here that I can mess with. <laughs> To do. I don't think we can go in there yet, but I mean, I'm in the door down the hall, not this one. This one probably has zombies. What gun am I still holding on to? Yep. Flame rounds, ink. This cockroach is making noise. I hope we don't got grab nothing else. Oh yeah, there's a big thing right there to grab. Okay, I didn't hate wasting all that. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything to even grab from his desk. Two, Sanitation Division. Attention, Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copy or disclosure of the contents of this fact or any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fact, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-Virus outbreak that initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-Virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Virus infection. Second concern, our, security, our secret security patrol team has been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Okay, he's not getting back up, and I'm never going to return here. Hey, look at that. GameCube. I think it's supposed to be a GameCube. Okay. Uh, security system passcode, a transmission device. If you had a MO desk, you could transmit a passcode to the system. Oh, so we might need three. I thought it was four. I hope he doesn't get back up when we come in here one of these times. What's in here? There seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it. Warning. Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Okay. It looks like a refueling device. All right, so we don't have nothing to refuel with. Um, wasn't there something else in this room that I could grab? When I first entered, I thought I saw something. Oh, yeah, this. They're gonna I have to probably, yeah, I can't carry it. Okay, we're gonna have to come back. I ain't gross. Alright, well, let's see what's at the end of this hallway, and then I'll probably do some item running around, biz. Dang, these doors are loud. I think the MO disc might affect this. Okay, so we can't deal with that yet. There we go. One down. And I have a second one on us. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what do you mean you can't use this one right now? The hell? I'm confused. Why won't they let me use it right now? Is there three spread throughout? That might be the case. 
Okay. Just trust you on that. Oh yeah, we also came to get this. Right, take the slide filter. Alright. The search continues. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, putting in our code that we learned from the x-rays. Cell. That should give us access now to up above. Permission granted. Alright, now to see what we unlocked. Yeah, we know. Alright, now to enter this uh, top floor we just unlocked. I should have one item that I can get rid of in here for sure. I'm hoping two items, because I imagine there's going to be some crap to pick up in here. Is that another MO disc? Oh, come on. I can't even get rid of these things. I was hoping there was a thing in here to get rid of it with. All right, projector. View it. Sure. Do I click through it? Uh, umbrella, bioorganic weapon official report. The MA-39, Cerebrus. Alright, that's where the dogs are. Neptune, the shark. Hunter. Tyrant. dun dun dun, dun. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group. Development Staff. Alright, one guy kind of reminds me of Wesker. Okay, 83417-0623. Sure. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Umbrella Bioorganic Weapons Official Report. Same stuff. Anything new? 8462. Alright, that's why we brought that up here. Uh, now, where to put it in at? Passcode entry terminal. Dang it, I already forgot what it was. 8462? Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Good, good deal. Uh, where did that open up at? Alright, there it is. Uh, shotgun shells. I'm not even carrying them, are I? Oh, yeah. We're going to hold off on that just in case. What do we have here? That's a key. That must be the power key. Laboratory key. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Kenneth's film. Okay. Been holding on to this for a long time. Got the shaky cam going on. How did he have a VHS tape? Did he walk in here with a giant recorder? Alright, I'm not gonna question it. I mean, do the rest of us have VHS tapes, like, strapped to us, recording every movement? Alright, we don't need to watch it again. It's weird that they wait until all the way here to finally watch that. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna grab the shotgun shells. Oh, no! Where do I use these MO discs? Why can't I use it there at that other spot? What's hiding? Oh, that's the other one. Alright, hopefully this new key here can open up these two doors. 
Alright, sweet. Maybe I should have tested it on the other one while I still have my inner gear. Just so I can drop it off. I don't like the sounds of that. Can I... No, apparently I can't hit it wherever it's at. Why does it keep... Oh, I see shotgun shells right there. Oh, so can I shove this? Alright, sweet. Something's clearly making noises. What do we got going on over here? A little vent. Oh, I don't even want to drop in. Alright, I was just... So the reason I was dancing there is I was trying to see... Oh, crap! Whew! Alright. Man, they're way more detailed in this one than they are in the original. Uh, in the original, I mean, they weren't so insectoid looking. Okay, uh... Oh, yeah, no reason to check ammo. I wonder if I missed those other shots. Where does that door even lead right in front of me? Okay, somewhere we've never been. Alright, works for me. Alright. Oh, <laughs> right. oh, shit, we can't even pick anything up if we find anything. So what vents did I come in and can I leave? I mean, is this a vent I can go into? It's not even on the map. Is this what I... Am I? I mean, we can push it. Huh. Whatever. I'm, I'm lost. Let's see. Come on. MMO thing or MO. Yes. Alright. This is what we needed. So they are separate. Alright. Good deal. There you go. Another red light down. One more to go. Alright. So basically we found all three. We just have to find the uh, MO thing. Got lots of security deals. I don't even know if those creatures we just saw, I forget, are they the one that's called the V-Axe? Oh, is this... Oh, I think this basically is back to where I came in at. Alright, good deal. Alright, sweet. Uh, I'm kind of nervous to go through here. Okay, got rid of the key. Should have two open slots now. Don't know if we have a healing item on us. Gotta play it safe. If we hear them things coming, we gotta shoot immediately. Okay, that's where we were a second ago. I tried to get out the double... Oh, okay. Try to get... Did I hear something? Okay. Um, I tried to get out the double doors there, but it was rusted shut, and so now we just saw the other side of it. Dang, what is up with these doors and how loud they are? Oh, sweet! You know what? We're probably going to hold it there because I really feel like um, between one MO disc left and some other things that I know are going to come up, we'll probably do a longer finale. Oh, nice. Grenades on the ground. Oh, yeah. So excited. Might have to start whipping out the bigger guns. Might have to just uh, put the shotgun away and run around with the Magnum as backup. Let's see. Anything else really need to get... Chairs and supply. Yeah, well, nobody cares about that crap. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this. Uh, when we, when we come back, it should be the finale. Like I said, it might run a little long. I don't know. I, hell, I don't even know how long this episode's been going. I can't find the typewriter. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna cut it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna cut it there. So yeah, I'm happy tangent. Please like and subscribe. It sounds like one more. I, I don't even know what game I'm playing next. I really I haven't an idea. I don't know if I'm going to keep going the Resident Evil route because three games in a row, eh. I mean, even I can only take so much, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, when we come back, it'll be the finale. So, we'll see you next time.